On today's agenda, we will be discussing flukes, a flat room. This is just an overview of the species. Flukes. Here is an ancestral tree that we have seen previously in the nematode units. So here is the nematode units. Chordates are over here. And flatworms are right here, which are scientifically called platyhelminthes. Um, flatworms. <laughs> so flatworms is just the, the non-scientific word for platyhelminthes. Um, all flukes are flatworms, but not all flatworms are flukes, as described here. Under the platyhelminthes, there are four subcategories. Turbularia, which are free-living flatworms, and um, they are not parasitic. However, um, the trematoda, which is also dianogenes, or the monogenin, um, they both have flukes in them. The di versus the mono is just a reference to the generations between sexual, uh, between sex. So <laughs> Diana genes alternate from having sex to splitting between generations. Mono genes have sex every generation. And cestodes are tapeworms, which are parasitic and will be covered under the tapeworms section. We will be focusing on the Diana genes and the Mono genes and most specifically on the Diana genes of the trematodes, which is a fluke. The flukes. The flukes are bilaterally symmetrical, like this. Humans are also bilaterally symmetrical, straight down the center of your face and the rest of your body. Um, flukes are asolomates, which means uh, asecomates. They don't have a thecum. Um, and so, here is where they are. Here is where the thecum lives. The cecum is important because it helps, um, it gives muscles an area to develop on. So the muscles for a fluke uh, don't have, they don't have a specific area to grow on. So that's why they kind of have a spongy type structure when they move. Um, they also lack a respiratory, a specialized respiratory system and skeleton, they don't have skeleton. And they also lack a circulatory system. They function more of like a swishy swashy hot tub instead of having veins and arteries like humans. Um, and they use diffusion of gases and whatnot for their respiration, which is also part of why they're, they can do that is because they're small. So they have a, a specific uh, surface area to volume ratio that is important. So we can't just diffuse oxygen because we are too big, um, but they have much more surface area to their volume. Other fun facts are there are over 10,000 species of flukes. They're pretty much all parasites. The flukes are all parasites. Um, they are found in all vertebrates, and most of the species are hermaphroditic, which is fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching.